You're taking a look right now, Fox 5 drone video of a pop-up casino that opened earlier today. It's something that happens once every year or so due to a technicality. It's called The Beach. A once booming nightclub in the area is gone. The company behind it is still holding on to its own gaming license. To do so, they need to follow state gaming regulations, and they're doing it with a little pop-up casino. So take a look at this map. It's near the intersection of Convention Center Drive and Paradise. That's where we find Fox News' Danny Mastin. She brings us more on what exactly is going on here. Jacqueline and John, this is the 10th time in 17 years that something like this has happened. I'm here on Convention Center Drive where the pop-up casino was located inside of a tent that was taken down just a few hours ago. It was operated by Gaming Century Technologies. Now, like we mentioned, this is the location of the former beach nightclub that has been gone for 17 years. Marriott International owns this lot of land and to preserve its gaming license, the site needed to be open for eight hours with six slot machines. So on May 18th, the Nevada Gaming Commission approved the application of Century Gaming to operate slot machines at this location. The county says to maintain that license, active gaming must occur at least once every 18 months. We spoke with a man who visited the pop-up casino today who says in his 20 years of living in Las Vegas, he has never been to one until today. I did want to be a part of it just to be able to see it and say I've done that and uh, tell the folks back home because they probably won't believe it. I am told Marriott operates around a thousand rooms in five hotel properties close to this lot and hopes someday to consolidate them into a larger resort and keep gaming as an option. Reporting live, I'm Danny Mastin, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.